In a headlock, Captain. Now, a headlock can begin from here, right? You and I are fighting, and then somebody does a headlock. So a headlock doesn't have to occur from behind, but in this technique, it does. Now, one thing about the headlock is for him to, uh, to headlock me, he has to have both hands, right? Both hands to close. So when this is coming over, if I grab this wrist, control that leg, there really is no headlock. Right? Just sort of thinking about that ahead of time. That if he can't grab his other hand, the best they can do is hold. And you, you can get out of that, right? Even that you can get out of if you try hard enough. But as they go to do this, I want you to grab their wrist, right? So they're going to come up from behind you, and as they're pulling you, look right, look for the wrist, right? So, and just do that. Just do that with this hand. Just go for the other wrist, and then put the knee in there, and take the base out from them. He's coming around to grab me, and as he's pulling me in, I'm grabbing this wrist, and my other hand's going to reach behind. I'm going to try to hook his bicep. So now, grab your wrist with your other hand. See what, you see what I mean? There, yeah. So when we're in here, and we're like this, push down on the knee and pop your head out, and put your weight on top of it. So that's just a basic control position, right? So you're in here, you got this wrist, you got this bicep. Put your knee on the calf, just like we do in a, a grasp of death. And then when you do that, push them down and duck under. And as soon as you get on top, put your shoulder on top of theirs, just to keep them from standing up. So just this one portion, I come in this way, right? And this is tight, and the shoulder is in here tight. And he's got weight on one hand, he got his arms occupied with the other. They're not done, they're just under control for this moment, right? All right, go for it. So they're grabbing you up here. They're not pulling you down to here. So he does that, and basically that's the move in grip of death. I step up, strike, and then I'm coming over like this. Now the thing here is, one thing this is doing is keeping him from turning into me. You notice I have a fist? I have a fist, because if my fingers are out there, he might bite me. So I'm just trying to keep his head from turning into me, but he's trying to turn into me. As he's trying to turn into you, let him. Right? Do the heel pop. So I got him down here. I'm keeping his head, and he's trying to turn into me. Let him turn into you. And get that, get the heel pop shot. All right, let's do that together. So face front. Same time, this hand is going to do an inward hammer fist, like so. So I'm going. And the other hand is gonna hit the kidney. So if you do this, you feel that? That's, you know, you do that as hard as you can. That's your shot. Yeah. But now when we do them though, they're like this. But when you practice it, hit your hands together, it'll give you a sense. So I step out, I hit the groin and the kidney, and the, the, the stance is relaxed. This hand goes over and hooks the head. Now my opponent had his knee on the ground. They should have their knee on the ground, right? Bring the head back and do your heel pump. You can't get their chin up. Right? So I'm here and I'm doing this. And I can't get his chin up. Take that, put that there. That picks his chin up. <laughs> and you can slip out, right? So then you get in there and you do this and you can't get their chin up. Go like that. Hit yourself in the arm. And if it hurts, you're doing it right. Yeah. yeah. So try that now. Get in here, start and they're not picking their chin up. Well, hit the target you can reach, just like that. All right, all right, go ahead, then we'll move on.